Opening chop was the trade of the day in the e mini S&P. Four for five. You see one winner here, one winner here, one winner here, one winner here. That's the four trades. And the last trade was a loser. Uh, it got short here and then got exit. Exited there. So four for five on the day. Our four new strategies are responsible for the gains on the day. They were up about 4K on the four new strategies while the actual the trade results were plus 33.75 so the other strategies were down the day but the four new strategies were up 4k and so the others were around minus 600 and plus 33.75 on the 250k portfolio plus 575 on the 50k portfolio and about four thousand dollars from an equity peak last seen on february the 21st and came close on the 9th and the 16th of this month and so um, we're a little bit behind the hypothetical since we did a transition into a portfolio with the lower drawdown. We have the updated month to date and year to date results as well. And this is incorrect. It should be 3375 since it's the first trading day of the week. I've updated the month and year though. Those are um, approximate numbers based on today's trades before the statement. And so let's go over the all the trades on the day. Opening chop, like I said, was a top trade on the day. And then opening chop two had just one trade. I took the long trade here up on the day. And then tick chop, this one was up and then gave some back. It was, took a short trade, a long trade, and then a short trade. And then had an end of day exit right there. So just a lot of classical chop at the open, something that's been happening in the markets more and more. And so we were able to take advantage of that with our strategies. And then we had the tick dynamic turnaround strategy. It's another new strategy right here. We'll hit its profit target. Uh, really nice trade. Captured most of the downtrend. Overall, just a narrow range on the day. Relatively narrow range uh, for this market based on the news events that uh, we're seeing. We have FOMC coming up on Wednesday, so we won't trade on Wednesday. We're trading tomorrow, and then we're taking a break on Wednesday for the FOMC meeting. And um, momentum reversal. Tried to go short here. Market reversed down on the day. You know, the Fed uh, increased its balance sheet about $300 billion, and so they're back in that game of increasing their balance sheet. Makes it hard to short the market. And Cobra 3 hit a nice long trade here, plus 1,075. The S&P was the highlight of the day with uh, four out of five strategies winning today. Momentum reversal was a loser. And let's look at the NASDAQ. Viper was up on the day. Tick count trend was up on the day. Um, let's see here. And then you had Cobra 3 down on the day. A tick reversal was up on the day. This tick reversal, we didn't trade it. It was up on the day. Uh, momentum reversal NASDAQ was also down on the day. And then Tick Pulse was up on the day. So those are the trades on the day once, once again. Um, up 33.75, up 5.75. And we are going to trade tomorrow and skip Wednesday because of FOMC. Here are the market internals on the day. You can see uh, the market price action doesn't look like there's anything going on right now uh, with all the bank the banking crisis and First Republic. And so um, just... Relatively narrow ranges uh, as, as we go into FOMC on Wednesday. And once again, what, those are the trades on the day for Monday, March the 20th, 2023. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems' YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.